Welcome to another episode on How to GoPro, the place where I show you tips and tricks on how to create great GoPro videos. A lot of people have asked me how I create my ATV videos. So in this episode, I thought I'd share some of the tips and tricks that I've used over the years to create my amazing looking videos. The first thing you really need to do is create some great shots. You want to move your camera around a lot so you're not just getting the same shot all the time. And make sure you take your camera off your ATV every once in a while just to capture some of the other activities that go on. Here you can see we had to overcome an obstacle winching over this tree. It creates a great video, great memory later on. Be sure to include other shots, like here as we're leaving the hotel. It makes for a great addition to the video. Also include places where you've stopped to grab your bite to eat, where you've had to refuel your ATVs, and things like that. This really adds a lot to the overall video. Include effects like slow motion, as you're seeing right now, speeding up the camera, and time lapses as well. Now let's focus on the settings for your camera. You want to make sure you're recording at the highest frame rate and the best resolution. Power your GoPro on and go into the settings page. The first thing that will show up is your resolution and frame rate. Make sure you're shooting at 1080, which is high definition. And you want to select 60 frames per second so you can get real crisp videos. And ensure it's on wide. So 1080, 60 frames per second, wide angle. You'll also want to make sure that ProTune is turned on. Now ProTune will record things at a higher bit rate, but one of the things it does do is remove some of the contrast and the color vibrance. So we'll need to fix that up in post-production later on. Overall though, video shot with ProTune turned on will look better. Exit out of settings. Now you're ready to start capturing your videos. Now let's talk about editing our videos. I'm using Adobe Premiere Elements 11. The first thing we need to do is import the videos we need. Click on Add Media, Files and Folders. Grab a clip that you want to use and drag and drop it into the workspace area. So here's a video on one of our ATV trips. You realize that the color looks a bit flat and dull, and this is because of ProTune. So I'll show you the settings that I've used to add some color back into this. Make sure you're in the Expert tab. Go over to Adjust. The first thing I like to do is add a little bit of vibrance. Under Color, Go to Vibrance, and I usually just pick the one in the middle. Doesn't do a lot, but you can see it adds a little bit of color. We don't want to add too much, or things will start looking a little bit odd. That looks pretty good there. Next thing I always do is go under Gamma, and again, just pick the one in the middle here. Now you can see it's starting to add a lot more contrast, Pictures doesn't look as flat as before. The last thing that I do is add a little bit more contrast. Go over here to the black and white settings and make the blacks a little bit darker, the whites a little bit whiter. Now the last thing you'll need to do is go under effects and we need to sharpen the video just a little bit. So if we go under, find blur and sharpen, drag and drop the sharpen onto your video clip and then go under applied effects. 
Now we don't need to add very much. It's at 10 right now. I want to get it up to about 30. So I find that looks really nice. You can see the difference as I toggle it on and off. There, it's real soft looking. And with the sharpen on, you can see how crisp it looks. And if I toggle these other settings now, you can see the difference in color. There's the gamma correction. And here's the changes we've made to the lighting. So I find that the combination of those four items, the, the vibrance, the gamma correction, the lighting, and then sharpening your video will make your GoPro videos look fantastic. Let's go ahead and do this to another video. Here's just a slow drive-by. Okay, so we'll go in under Vibrance, and it seemed like this one here worked well for us. Gamma Correction, pick the one in the middle. Under Lighting, let's add a bit of contrast. Make the blacks a bit blacker. And the whites a bit whiter. And then effects, we'll drop sharpen on. And bump that up to 30. Nah, 31, close enough. There, yeah, that's looking a lot better. Now this video here was recorded at 720 but 120 frames per second. Now what that allows me to do is to slow the video down quite a bit to get a real nice slow motion playback. Because we've got the extra frames we can slow it down and it won't look choppy. So first let's go in and do our regular adjustments. I'm just going to go through these quickly. So black white, a bit of contrast, sharpen, okay. Now what we can do though is, well here's another quick trip, a uh, quick tip. If you want to clip your video you just drag like that until you, when this appears you can drag and clip your video. So I've clipped my video a little bit. Now what I want to do is to slow it down. So right click and go to time stretch. And let's try it at half speed and see what that looks like. About 50% here. Now let's play it back. Let's try something else. Right as it approaches the puddle, what we can do is clip the video. Clip it again. Now if we zoom in on that very small area, we can slow just that section down even more. So let's drop this down to say 25%. All right. It takes a lot of computing power to apply this effect on the fly. So you notice it was choppy here, but once you render it, that effect will look great. So thanks for watching another episode. I hope you learned a couple great tips here on how you can put some color back into the videos that you recorded with ProTune enabled. Uh, stay tuned for more great videos. Thanks.